seven year imprisonment in India for harming cows. Are you serious? Let's see what the summary says in Uttar Pradesh. That's utterly crazy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Drifko. Drifko with her dad jokes. Um, Uttar Pradesh, the UP cow slaughter prevention act okay the up cow slaughter prevention act has now been amended to ward anyone who harms a cow or endangers its life with up to seven years imprisonment and three hundred thousand indian rupee fine the new law will apply to anyone who tries to endanger a cow's life or tries to illegally transport it or deny food and water to cattle. Jesus. The ordinance also contains a clause to shame offenders. An offender's photograph and name would be would be put up at a prominent spot at prominent spots in the area of his residence. Okay, this second part is even worse. They're they're, they're basically encouraging for the mob to go after them. The prison, I thought, like, this is crazy. The seven-year prison and the 300,000 rupee fine is not nothing compared to, like, hey, let's put a picture of this guy up close to where he lives so the mob knows exactly where to find him. Like, this is, that's the worst part of it. That's the, the, the bury the lead. By the way, I have a recommendation for Muslims in India who feel that they might be oppressed because they're Muslim, I think they should start identifying as cows. I think they will have more Muslims in India might enjoy more rights if they start identifying as cows. Just try it. I, mean, I don't know if... They, they will probably enjoy more rights than me. <laughs> oh, yeah. As, da- <laughs> as a Dalit. But anyways, Shrupam, without, without the curse of knowledge, can you, can you tell okay, us a little so bit more? First of all, uh, the title is slightly misleading i mean uh, the imprisonment thing was there even before and it is there in not just with the pradesh in many other states uh, in most states uh, anything to do with a cow is like illegal you you will get imprisonment of 3 to 10 years and something the the amendment is that you will i mean before it was like killing and eating and now it's like even harming so like I mean okay you shouldn't harm animals I uh, all that's all fine I mean seven years is still crazy <laughs> but just this is for just cows I mean they don't care about other animals here and also like there are states like my state where beef is legal and that's fine but in those states like uh, you cannot uh, kill a cow you, yeah, in Hinduism you cannot like uh, anything to do with the dead body of a cow is like <laughs> Uh, is like a uh, way taboo and stuff but here's the thing like the earliest hindus like when the aryans came to india and mixed in with the indus valley civilization people and they wrote the first vedas uh, i mean that's how hinduism started back then uh, eating cows was fine eating beef was completely fine uh, that is one thing like e- even in the vedas in the scriptures it has been described how People during that time used to eat beef, used to sacrifice animals to the gods and stuff. And that was completely fine. It was later down the line. Like it has still been like thousands of years, but it was later down in the line when uh, the uh, when killing cows became like uh, so <laughs> bad in the Hindu society. Uh, even even like in uh, later texts, like the Manusmriti, which is almost as old as the Bible, uh, it, it's like uh, 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 contradictory points. Like one, in one point, it says eating meat is bad. In another, uh, in another verse, in the same book, it says, "Oh, if you are like really hungry, I guess you can eat meat." And then another verse, it says, "Oh yeah, sacrificing animals. That's all fine. So sacrifice this, this animals." And... Okay, so first, uh, I don't want to read Chris's comment, but it's a super chat, so he donated to us. So I have to read it. Chris is saying, boo, Armin, Rivka should read the news. Okay, I agree, but Rivka should read the news once she gets a better headset. Then she could read the news. But right now, 
Um, I'm reading news. Um, so here's a here's a, a look. Go on. Go I have on. a question. So Shapam, so in your state, people can eat cows, but in other states, if you even let's say, you know, throw a stone at a cow, you could go to jail for seven years. Is that the case? Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah. So you cross one border, you could eat a cow. Another I mean, border, you just you can't even flick a cow's ear, and you could go to. I mean, here's here's, here's, the, here's the here's the interesting part. I live. My hometown is right on the border of the state I live in, and I just need to like walk one kilometer to <laughs> to get into a zone which where it is illegal to get. Me. So if you had a burger in your hand. And you were eating it, and you walked one kilometer over while you were eating the burger. They could throw you in jail one kilometer. <laughs> okay, no, technically that shouldn't be allowed because the cow was already dead when before it turned to a burger. So you're not no, harming the cow. According to Hinduism, it is like even if the cow or is naturally dead, uh, oh. in some texts you still cannot eat the meat. It's, this... it's... Wait, do people try because to go Krishna's save? Because Krishna's in the cow, right? I really, then there's like several like uh, uh, interpretations of it. Like one is that, another is like God is cow is mother in Hinduism, and this is like is, weird. Is there any attempts by Hindus to go save the cows from the from province from the places where it's legal to eat cows to bring I mean, them to rescue? The, is there like a rescue operation from the? Cow yes. oppressing, cow oppressing states to the not so. Not not it? exactly, not exactly the states. Oh. They cannot come here. Like this one annoying thing. Like uh, since my state is on like the border and stuff, we have like many immigrants for other states. And the most annoying part is that they bring their freaking cows into our hometown, and they just let the cows free on the streets, and the cows like poop all over the streets, and it's so fucking annoying to right, walk. So like uh, Cynthia, Cynthia on Facebook post a post, not left here, but she post is saying, "Sounds good to me. Should be a crime to harm any animal." But Michael is saying, "I'm not gonna harm it. I'm gonna fucking eat it." Um, and one thing um, is, isn't India the world's largest Beef exporter? Ex okay, this is amazing. In like people don't really know this, India is the world's largest exporter of beef. I mean, if that's not ironic, I don't know what it is. Like, how do they uh, justify that? Okay, so one thing, like, okay, before that, um, in the live chat, Michael Sherlock was asking if we have Big Macs in India because Big Macs have beef. Uh, no, we don't have Big Macs in India. Instead, we have, like, a, uh, another version called the Maharaja Mac, uh, which doesn't have beef, which is chicken. I think it's chicken. I never had a Maharaja Mac before. Uh, but, yeah, like... About uh, uh, what we're saying, Armin. Uh, oh, I mean, what we're saying. How do they explain the hypocrisy? Um, yeah, I mean, it is hypocrisy. Like even the government who is like so anti-cow, and even they're like they have this. Uh, uh, I mean, the BJP and the RSS have like several smaller factions, the Bajrang Dal, the uh, Cow Protection Unit, and everything. And they just go on lynching people all across the country for doing stuff they don't like. I mean, they have lynched several people on just the suspicion of them eating beef or something, like in possession of cow or anything. Yeah, but like how, that. Do they, how while, do they while, allow the government? I mean, they don't justify it. I mean, BJP, it was like, I think it was just a few months ago last year, uh, the BJP, uh, it was caught um, like uh, that BJP had a shelter for cow where the cows were all malnutrition and everything. They weren't being fed properly. They were okay, literally... BGP, little way, okay, see, this is what I call the curse of knowledge. Just assume people know what BJP is. BJP is the far-right Hindu, Hindu nationalist party in India which in some provinces it has powers, in some provinces it doesn't, but the federal government is also BGP. Michael Sherlock is saying, can you graffiti cows? I'd like to see Atheist Republic's logo spray painted on a cow in India. Uh, Beach is asking, could this extend to family members getting a mob at their doors? Yeah, I mean, that's what... Yes, that yeah. happens. That's very dangerous. Like, I mean, it's, it's not just that. I mean, if they, like... 
this is according to Hindu tradition, kind of. If they Oi. like yes, suspect you, I I can hear the noise too. By the way. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, if if like they get uh, suspect you, they can. The mobs usually like the mobs are actually sanctioned by the government. They are connected. These units are connected to RSS, which is also connected to the government. Even if the connect, uh, government denies that it had anything to do with it, everyone knows they yeah. it is their uh, unit. And uh, these people will tie you to a pillar or something or a tree, and they will make you. They will force you to eat cow dung, drink cow urine. Um, this is according to Hindu traditions, the five products of cow, cow dung, urine, milk, ghee, and curd. And Wait, they will force this on you. They force you? Because, force? Okay. Yeah. Wow. There right. have been cases with them. Even some, uh, some people even kill the uh, suspected person, especially if this person is Muslim. Wow. Rivka. I was just going to say, we were talking about like cow products and burgers and Muslims and Hindus. What's the only thing that uh, Jews, Muslims, and Hindus can agree on? Don't eat, not eating pork. Chicken. What? A chicken. Oh, wait, you take Christian. Christian. Oh, you take Christian. Sorry, Christian as well. Yeah, Jews, chicken. Hindus, and Muslims. Chicken. chicken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, so is saying, oh, hold on, another... wait, okay, wait. Okay. Soha is reminding us to tell everybody to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, Soha, because I forget to say that. I suck at this, so thank you, Soha, for always reminding us. But go on, uh, Shopa. Yeah, in, in the state, Uttar Pradesh, uh, where this particular news happened, uh, they also have like the this thing, uh, ambulances for cows. Special ambulances for cows. Oh, yeah, there I heard are about that. Several people, humans, who don't get the proper treatment they need. They have ambulances. If, if a cow is in need, they will send an ambulance <laughs> right there. But if a human is in need, ah, yeah, we are busy. You can wait. And well. sometimes they. All right. So, yes, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah. You may, we think is no, and oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff, we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But if there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So, to solve that. Link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore, but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 